Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Soph. If you're new here, hello. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Um, today's video is going to be my top five skincare products slash, oh yeah, my top five skincare products that I'm using in my routine right now. Because I feel like I do a lot of makeup-y bits and skincare is just as important. So I'm going to get on into that. So I'm going to start off with the thing, there's technically six things, but I don't really class this as a skincare product, it's more of a tool or whatever. But this is a face halo, which I have spoken about before, and it's literally a, co it's a reusable cotton pad to take your makeup off with. And you literally just add some hot, well, warm water and like gently rub it all over your face and it takes your makeup off wonders i actually use mine with a cleanser but you don't have to they're just as good on their own and yeah and then you chuck it in the washing machine probably best to do it with clothes that you won't add um like soap to because it might irritate your skin but just pop it in the wash and then they're good to go again and you've got two sides so you can use one side Use the other side, then throw it in, um, in the wash. So that is my number one. If this is in the wash, I usually use cotton pads, which I shouldn't do. I want to get more of these so I don't have to use cotton pads. But while I only have one of these, I use cotton pads or flannel. Next up is my the cleanser that I'm using, and it is the Body Shop Carrot Wash. And I did mention this in my top products of 2019. Um, I did actually start using this towards the end of 2019, so it's still technically new to me, but it is vegan, it is 100% recyclable packaging, it smells really strong of carrots, so if you don't really like the smell of carrots, then you won't like the smell of that, but it makes your skin feel so smooth, and even my boyfriend is like, wow, this thing gets your makeup off so fast, so that's my cleanser that I use. We then have the Micelle Air Skin Breathe Micellar Water by Nivea which is you know a micellar water so you just put it on a pad or on one of your face halos or something like that and like scrub it over your face. Not scrub but put it over your face. This one is for sensitive skin and it is a 3-in-1 makeup remover and it has no perfume and you don't need to rinse it off. And it just, it does work wonder. I use this on my eyes because that cleanser you're not supposed to put around your eyes. So I use the cleanser on my face and then I use this to take my eye makeup off and it does the job. I used to use the Garnier one but then I heard something about there being a product in there that has been known to increase the chances of having cancer. So I binned my Garnier one and found this one. Next is face sprays. Now, technically, again, I could do seven products because there's two face sprays that I like. But the other face spray is a setting spray, whereas this is literally just one that you put on. I normally put this on after I've cleansed, toned, and moisturized, and then I put this on top. And it's the Revolution Skincare Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray with pink grapefruit. And it smells so good. This one is for dry skin because it's got hyaluronic in it, which is hydrating. And yeah, I just really like it. I just realised that I've been speaking really fast and this video is literally only going to be about five minutes long. So we've got our face spray here. We then have a serum that I really like. And I used to use the Unicorn Essence one by Fosali. But uh, that one's really expensive. So I tried decided to try this one which is the revolution skincare super fruit extract antioxidant rich serum and primer again it's vegan and cruelty free and i don't use it every time but you just put a few drops on your face rub it in before you moisturize and yeah it does leave your, it smells like popcorn and it does leave your skin feeling really nice and then last up is my toner which is the pixie rose tonic rose and elderflower nourishing toner and i'm pretty sure everyone has heard of this because it's quite a popular one but yeah so that's my skincare routine i don't do it every day i mainly don't want to do full face which is two to three times a week um believe it or not because normally i just do my eyes but we've got the we've got toner we've got a cleanser 
you've got your your micellar water, face spray, tone uh, serum, and a tool, I guess. And yeah, that's my skincare. And it's all really affordable, actually. Like I said, these two are from Revolution Skincare, drugstore brand. Pixie, I think this one's about eighteen pounds, but you don't need much, so it lasts you ages. These are pricey, they're £17 each I believe, but you can on Amazon get a pack of like five for a lot cheaper, but they're just, they're not fluffy, they're just like reusable cotton pads. Um, Nivea isn't that expensive, you find it in Superdrug. And the Body Shop, this one is obviously a little bit pricier because the Body Shop is a little bit pricier, but everything is vegan, cruelty free and recyclable, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. But yeah. If you would like to know my top five for anything else, please leave a comment down below. Um, this is probably the world's shortest video, but there we have it. <sighs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Let me try that again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.